okay so let's take a look at leads and lead center in quickbooks so what we will do is we'll open quickbooks and i have opened a sample file for one of the business which is a service business as you can see landscaping and garden supply now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to check customer center and here i want to find leads right so you can do that by going to customers and then lead center right now here you will notice that everything looks empty right so you have options like clicking on new lead now here let's say we type in name john smith status of this lead is warm not yet converted or not cold that means we have not we have made the contact we have established some repo and we are moving so this is the warm state lead right its company is basically he's into let's say cleaning business cleaning llc right we can add any name website email additional email you can also add their address right you can add location which is required let's say he is from uh, let's say texas but where in texas uh, could be any place or just give it texas for now right uh, later you can give in the address also change city and state right now next thing would be to clicking ok you have your lead name and their status you can keep on adding like this let's see we add some chain dough turn her into gold and her business is into say real estate no broker llc right and location is let's say she's from florida right and we are going to add it so we have one lead cold one warm and you have option to view their information here right you can choose what to do for each of that lead you can choose their contact location notes so to do's we can go to new to do and here you can choose to call fax email meet appoint get appointment or choose a task to do with them right then there is also priority you can assign medium low etc right and then you can set it here so let's say if i choose to email her real estate bookkeeping discussion right and now i'm going to click ok so i will have one to do with her so now here we can add contacts also set the location for that particular person and notes here you can add notes again add notes like this right click ok so for that person we have a lot of data added we can do so like this for each contact we have then there is also import multiple leads right so say if you have excel spreadsheet you can simply copy your content from there and paste it or simply manually type it you can go with either one of that right so that sort of option is also there but make sure that when you do go with that option you are using lead name company name phone work phone type of uh, columns in that spreadsheet as well so you'll have to uh, do a bit of work for that right so let me close this then there is also option to do so with excel so lead contact list status list and converted leads so these are some of the list options you can click on them so it should show you one excel file where you can export your leads right so as you can see that was contact list and then there is also status list 
converted list as well so all of that can be ported as well so you get the idea how to access lead center from customer lead center and then how to input your leads into quickbooks so if you are using anything like salesforce then that would be specific application for handling the leads and working with clients so if you want to merge that with quickbooks then this is one of the lead center option that you can try out